Probably, yeah. I don't know. Um, there's construction starting today. Mm-hmm. Already. Monday morning, trying to level corn stalks for the first time, and uh, our fuel cultivator won't unfold. I keep messing with the hydraulic flow, it's not doing anything. So I'll turn it back down. Our hydraulic light's flashing at me. I don't know if it's a seat sensor. Oh, I'm gonna have to go check the hydraulic level. That'll do it. So this thing is just not wanting to grab. There it goes. Okay, we're in business now. Cool. That's easy fix. What I'm about to do is take this field cultivator and level corn stalks. So it's just last year's corn stalks that was ripped. Um, so basically we went through with a disc ripper and did a hard rip of the ground and now we're going to level it out. So I'm just setting my GPS quick. Okay. So now I don't have to steer, it's all GPS driven. And what we're doing is just barely scraping the top of the soil because like I said, all it's doing is leveling out the ruts, basically. So right now I'm just kind of working the up and down to get it to the right depth that I, that I want. typical Monday thing kind of going on. I don't know. <laughs> the reason we do this is mainly for the sprayer boom and the sprayer tractor. I guess the rider too as well. It's just really rough to ride when you're spraying. So this was ripped at an angle so these ruts run at a four degree angle and when you're driving the sprayer tractor you're going at a straight 90 or 180 degree angle so when you're running straight against these ruts the tractor would be bouncing the whole time and then you have we have a 90 foot sprayer boom so that's you know out there quite a way it's just kind of bouncing around so when you level it it just kind of gives the tractor and the sprayer boom a little bit easier of a time. Potentially less things to just break or go wrong. So a while back I went and crashed my drone and I broke it. And then I sent it into DJI and they actually sent me a brand new one. So I need to test that out now. I have yet to use it. Uh, it's a perfect time to test it out because I don't think there's a lot of wind today. I was going to test it out this weekend because I took my monkey out trail riding. But we ended up having so much fun. never got around to doing it. So yeah, let's test out some drone footage.
Christmas history going on right now. I'm about to pull into my my field for the first time this season. Well, technically this season, I guess. Besides the anhydrous last year that I did. There's Grandpa. Here we go. So I guess we'll find out how wet or rocky this field is now. We'll see if the uh, this gripper last year pulled up any rocks and then we'll know any wet spots since it's still springtime, which I don't, I don't know, we'll see. So the guy who farmed this last year didn't have a chopping corn head. What that is is maybe like a lawnmower. It's got like lawnmower blades kind of. But what it does is it chops the stalks up as it combines, which if you look out, you can see these are sticking up. Well, since these are so long and unchopped, uh, we're running into a problem, like, kind of see, okay, I got a ball right there, and then this side's starting to ball up, so I keep having to kind of pick it up, dump it, and then go back down. These corn socks just keep getting stuck in here. There's really nothing we can do about it. Uh, it'll be better next year, because we do have a chopping head, so we won't have this problem, so it's kind of a one-year thing kind of sucks but the field cultivator is doing a good job of knocking it all down but it's just it's kind of annoying when it keeps falling up me and grandpa are out here finishing up our last field he's back there can you see him probably not he's in the distance but uh, yeah, me and Grandpa are finishing up our last field of corn stalks. And then we're gonna head back to the farm. And then we got a full day of work ahead of us. We'll see what kind of stuff we get ourselves into, but it is a windy, windy day. With chances of severe storms. So who knows what will end up happening today. I'm not sure what's in store. Yep, yep, that's all she wrote. I'm on the last little strip right here, and this field will be finished up. I have a sneaky suspicion that outside tire is flat. It looks just a little funny. It's hard to tell, but I'm going to go out and check it out when I get to the end. not too big of a deal we'll have to get it fixed but since it's not on the mainframe those are the two or four that uh, they you know are the what everything rides on down the road because these fold up so I'm not gonna worry about it right now when I get back to the farm we'll have to fix it so that outside tire is the one that's low which you can probably see and that crazy noise is the wind I'll try and put some air in it see if it holds First. Oh. So I'll probably have to pop this tire off and take it to town. We are out here on another, I can't see my breath, cold Iowa day. <clears throat> but what we're up to is we've got the stocks leveled with this. So its next job is to incorporate chemicals and also uh, make the seed bed. So we put brand new sweeps on every year. That way it does a really good job for our seed bed mainly. That's actually the most important thing. So we have to go through, these are permalock sweeps is what they're called. A John Deere patented design. I've done a video on this previously, so I won't go like hardcore into it, but uh, 
you use a hammer and these actually just knock off. They have like a locking mechanism and then the new ones just slide on so it makes life a little easy. This is the most behind we've probably ever been with our spring getting things ready but we don't have a heated shop so it's like we've got to skip the cold days, you know. Whereas now, we're kind of down to the last week because next week we're probably going to be planting because the weather's going to change. So we have no choice but to actually do this miserable work out here. Um, we skipped yesterday because it was the same temperature as today but 40 mile an hour winds. So we just got to do it today and then tomorrow, today's Friday, tomorrow's Saturday so we're probably going to work Saturday too um, just to get everything ready because like I said as of now we just don't have a choice but to do what we need to do. Uh, well, you can see we've already got all these laid out, the new ones underneath. And then, so we got to knock off all these old ones, throw them into the bucket of the loader that my dad's over there getting, you can probably hear it. Um, so we got to throw all the old ones into the bucket and then put these new ones on and she will be ready to rock and roll. And then we have the other field cultivator, uh, which is an older style. And we are actually going to convert that to permalock. They had a deal at John Deere where if you buy the sweeps, uh, they give you the bracket, the locking bracket for free. Uh, so we're going to convert that to permalocks. And this year it's going to suck, but years to come, it will make it a lot easier. Uh, that's kind of our work for today. Does this work for a knockoff? Uh, no. No. All right. So here is our specialty John Deere tool. It's even got the little John Deere logo on it. So here is our sweep. What you do, you take it, and there's a spring inside there. And then you push the spring in, give this thing a whap. And then, take your new one, and it locks on just like that. So, we have to go through and do all of these, which I don't know how many there are. I wanna say there's like 90. Something like that. So we gotta go through and do every single one of these. And we only have one of the tools, so it's up to me to get them off. And then uh, we'll go through and put them all on together. And done. Okay, now we got to this field cultivator. And uh, we are swapping these over, like I mentioned. So I will do one through. I'll do this one, just to show you. One full one complete. So I just gotta go through and do all these. So it will probably be a rest of the day project. So we're just gonna take them all off, put the brackets on, and then put all the sweeps on after that. I will see you after we're done. Morning everyone, it is Saturday morning, and we have all of our brackets on this field cultivator. So we just gotta throw in all of our new sweeps, the locks, the perma locks. It won't take too long because they are the permalock system, so we just got to literally throw them on. And uh, this thing is going to be updated and ready to rock for the season. So, that is our first morning activity. And then we have a, a truck coming with some chemicals. And so we're going to have to unload that. And then we have a customer coming for his corn. So those are our... So those are our, our, those are our <laughs> morning activities. So I'm gonna start throwing on sweeps right now until basically whoever shows up first. They're all coming about the same time. So it's gonna be one of those things. Bunch of chaos, one moment. Chaos is good, right? And yeah. So we're gonna go down and do that until someone gets here.
Okay, well, there is one truck unloaded. Now we gotta load some corn into another truck. So these are bolt chemical totes, um, in case you were wondering. So those are just full of herbicides. hold you. Um, what I'm doing right now is backing up this fuel cultivator. We finally got the tire that was bad. They put a brand spanking new one on and so we are going to just throw that back on and then we got some bushings to replace on this um, which I'll go into that when I get to it but bushings. I'll do this one first then. Yeah, when you tear it apart, then I'll know if you gave us the right parts. If you did, I bet you, I bet you I got a lot more. You didn't have to do anything with the string? No, you just loosen the bolt and then it drops down. Yes, it it's three quarters. Yeah. Hey Grandpa, can you hold the wrench? It's right here. I bet every single one of these is probably close to that. This is got to be 30 years old. Yeah. The bushing oh. actually doesn't look that See, bad. See that? This is what it gave us. Yeah. That's I wonder a if it's. One. I think it's the bolts that are making it loose. Is that split one? Don't look too bad, does it? No, it doesn't. It actually looks. Yeah. So what's the new one of these look like? Yeah, it might be a little thin, but. 
I'm, I'm thinking it might be the bolt. It's the bolt, probably. Because you can see the bolt worn. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's really cut into it. Yeah. This came in two different nuts. This is the nylon block. It's probably what we want. Yeah. The thing is, if we do all of these, we're going to use up all the great eights. I know, I don't want to go with that either. That's pretty good. Why don't you put a cable on that? Oh, yeah. Well, maybe I over tightened it. Well, I guess it. Uh, I think that's good. Okay. So, I think it goes without saying that we are tightening up those shanks. So we have five. Well, now we have four to do. Uh, so I'm gonna go pick out the four worst ones and we're gonna replace those. Mm -hmm.